I love how you leave this store cart overflowing and the salespeople are like, did you find what you were looking for? I'm like, no, I did not find the Chanel Duke blazer that was on the Milan runway this season. Do you know what aisle that was in? <laughs> to find very high fashion, high value things for the best price. And so that is what we're doing today at Walmart. There are two types of people, those who love Walmart and those who love Target. And I'm one of those Target lovers. So today's kind of a special day because I decided to put all my skills to the test. I'm gonna just give you a little preview of my shopping trip through the aisles. And then I am going to go home, I'm gonna try it on and show you what I found. Then I have some awesome tips to give you on how to shop this store. I put my feelers out there to some of those so-called Walmart experts who are always finding amazing things. And they have given me their best tips. So stay tuned. I've got a lot here and um, I'm excited to do it with you. So let's go. shopping trip and I'm getting ready to show you everything that I found. Honestly, I think I spent like $300. I'm going to start with clothes. I found these tops and I didn't know which one to buy. So I just bought them all. These are like a somewhat linen blend top. It has this cute little tie at the bottom. Both of them do. I loved the one with the V and the buttons. $15.44. Honestly, I didn't know what size to grab, so I grabbed a medium and a large. Pre-washed for easy care. Oh, also they come in all different colors. I do think the green with the buttons and the white with the buttons look most high end. I also really liked the chambray. So let me try these on and let's see what we think. So here's the green one. They are very lightweight, very, very super lightweight. This is the large. Normally I would wear an eight to 10 in tops, but I did size up. I kind of like that it has somewhat of a dolman sleeve. Um, and I liked it a little bit, uh, just a little bit baggier for this cut. It's definitely a linen blend. So if you're looking for like an all linen top, this is not going to feel all linen to you. But at the same time, do you want something nice and light and airy that you can wear with shorts all summer? This top is great. I love, love, love the V-neck. Here's our quick view of the white one. I actually am liking the white one a lot better. I just feel like it's a little sharper and I think I could wear it with more. The contrast of the white with the brown buttons feels just very modern and fresh to me. I just really like it, really, really like it. This is the size medium and uh, I think this one is a keeper. 
Okay, so next up, the chambray. Now, you will see, this is definitely oversized on me. I bought a size up, but I sort of did that intentionally because, again, I love the dolman sleeve. I kind of wanted it a little bit more oversized to look a little bit more free people, bohemian, sort of a fun look. The tie on the side is very flattering. I think the weight of it is very similar to the others. It's lightweight. So overall, I feel like I can probably pair this with a lot of things. This top was $15. Like I'm, I am a little shocked and amazed at how great the pricing of their items are when you find something good. I did try a medium on in this and it was a little weird fitting. Like it was a little tight at the bottom in a very strange way, which kind of surprised me because this, this brand seems to run large. Large. So I would try both your size and then size up one. It just really depends on preference at the end of the day. This was um, kind of a no-brainer for me to grab for literally $9.94. The material, you guys, is really thick. Like it's one of the nicest materials that I found even better than Target when it comes to tank tops, literally. It is almost like a sweatshirt thickness of a knit. It has kind of a V in the back, which I thought was a nice little touch. And I really like it. Like, I just really like it. I actually probably will go back and see if they have any more just because of the material. Okay, so this I had to grab because it is a clear and easy dupe for free people. Hopefully you could see the detail. I bought this in both colors. The, the detail was just so cute. It is way oversized. I bought a, again, large. I didn't know what size I was, you guys. I didn't know if I was working with junior sizes. Again, I didn't try it on in store. Going back, I could size down to a medium or even a small in this because I have a lot of room. I am telling you, you've got to try this on. It is just so easy, so lightweight. Again, I love the material of it. This time and true tank was $11.88. I love this little detail with the beads and the tie. Look at how cute that is. And overall, love it. Now with that, I also found these awesome ruffle slides, which again are dupes for all sorts of designer versions, definitely. These were true to size, very comfortable, eight dollars and 44 cents they had all different colors they had a denim version a denim version oh my favorite part of these is that they're like padded inside which is a prerequisite for me anytime i buy slides they have a great sole they're very cushy i just love the contrast of the leather with the black obviously not real suede faux suede but they look real eight dollars and 44 cents crazy right now, I know some of you are like, Melissa, why the holy heck are you wearing biker shorts? But I'm going to be that girl for a minute because these are straight up, straight up Lululemon dupes. And I'm always a girl who's looking for good workout clothes. These are a Via 996. Wow. Size medium, my true to size. I'm definitely going to consider these with the pocket, the material, as good little workout leggings, especially for my spinning. So then this top, so I had to hunt down this top. This came in a white version as well. I thought the cut in the back had just like such good detail. Look at how this fits. It's very Lululemon Sculpt Tank. This, this is basically the dupe right here. The material's a bit different. The material's a little bit more of a shiny material. This one will just be so easy to work out in. These were selling out quick. This was nine, <laughs> this was $8.88, literally, $8.88. Where do, who, who makes up these prices? <laughs> Okay, so next up I have a couple different variations of tops with ties. I thought this one would be really pretty under a blazer. They had all sorts of colors. And again, sorry it's all wrinkled, but I liked the material. It's like a stretchy knit. This is time and true, $11.88. Um, there were also a ton of colors of these linen shorts, which, you know, everyone's selling linen shorts this summer. I thought this was the best color. I liked, again, the chambray. Uh, I loved the contrast. I thought it was kind of a more upscale look versus the other brands. I almost grabbed the white pair, but I put them back because I didn't think that they looked very good. So this was the only color I grabbed. This is the one I would recommend is this chambray with the navy contrast. 
And then this is the dupe of all dupes, ladies. So I'm gonna put the do the original version on the screen. These are $14.94, a difference of literally almost hundreds of dollars. I wanna thank Cute Little Acorn on Instagram. She alerted me to these amazing little dupes. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for sharing. These come in black. These also come in brown. And literally, you guys, they are so comfortable. They're just as comfortable as the originals. So I would tell you, go run and get them. I've linked them below. They're amazing. And here is the last top I'm going to show you. I thought this one was really fun too. They're doing a lot with this cute, the cute little ties. The reason why I grabbed uh, several of these tie blouses as well is because you're seeing these everywhere at Nordstrom. Everyone is going to be buying them at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. But this is the type of top that you're going to see a lot of influencers showing you is on sale from Nordstrom and get all excited about it. There are some really cute items at Walmart that if you look carefully and closely comparatively to other brands, it's almost like the exact same. So this one I thought was really cute. This is actually my true size medium. See, I should have gone down to medium and almost everything or a small, um, but I thought this was really pretty light, easy. Okay, so that completes my clothing haul. I do have some tips about the clothing. Number one, my number one thing I would say is be selective, be really choosy. I took time to go to two stores and I looked through as much as I could. And there were a couple key pieces though that I showed you that I really liked and I thought were really, really, really good deal comparatively. The dupe for the more expensive version of the thing. The button down linen blouse, the chambray front tie blouse, beautiful. This little striped tank top for $9.98. I was really impressed. The shoes. So let's talk about shoes. Like if I could only go to one department for fashion at Walmart, I'm gonna be honest, it would be shoes. So when you go to Walmart for any reason, for sure stop in the shoe department. I mean, I think the shoes I found were great. I could have picked up more. The prices are unreal and the styles are beautiful. More importantly, have y'all looked at the kids' shoes? Oh my gosh, like they're really, really good shoes. So I don't know how long they hold up. If you're a regular shoe shopper, especially for kids at Walmart, let us know in the comments. Everything else, take your time. Don't feel like you're always getting a deal. It's really about the quality of the item versus the cost. And I think that there's a lot better quality out there at great prices versus having a whole wardrobe full of Walmart goods, if you know what I mean. Let's move on to something I'm really excited about, and that is home. Yes, I found a couple things that I think you are going to love. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to take you outside. It finally stopped raining. Check out these pillows. Textured, so pretty. I got this gray version, and then I also got this beautiful tan sort of beige version, which I couldn't make up my mind, which I wanted more. I'm kicking myself right now. I so should have bought all four colors of both and then just returned them, which that's a lesson learned. If you see something amazing at Walmart, grab every one that you need because their return policy is great. But you guys are not gonna believe how much I got these for, $9. With that, running to your local store, those were in the garden section. So be creative in how you look. I'm going to link all the garden pillows still online below. Those anywhere else, even at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, are going to be at least $19.99. $9. $9. So awesome. I have one more home purchase to show you, which I'm also very excited about. Anthropology is one of my favorite stores. And Anthropology Home is just coveted for all the beautiful things that... They regularly sell. So check out what I found. So the Pioneer Woman has a whole collection at Walmart. Who knew? I could have grabbed so much more. I really could have, but I just thought it was so pretty. Look at this measuring cup. Gorgeous porcelain. This one just steps it up. It just reminds me of something I would find at Anthropology for, I don't know, 30 something dollars. I paid 
five dollars for this. I found these ceramic measuring spoons. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? Again, these are something I would find at Anthropology. These two are like five something. Such a deal, such a good dupe. So the Pioneer Woman, check it out. There's some really good stuff. I've linked it below. So cute. I am going to leave you with three big tips for finding the best stuff at Walmart. So I want to give a special thanks to my girl, Krista, who has an amazing Instagram community. She can be found at Walmart Finds. She gave me some of her best tips. So I thought I would do us a favor and share them here. So number one, when to shop Walmart. Krista says typically she will go in the mornings around 8 a.m. after she drops off her kids at school um, because it's not very busy. Also, this is a big tip, guys, listen up. She sees a lot of restocking on Friday mornings. If you're looking for something that was out of stock, it could potentially be restocked on Friday morning and she recommends grabbing it before the weekend. Number two, not all Walmarts are created equal. She has four Walmarts in her area that she shops on a regular basis, and they definitely do not carry all the same stuff. Therefore, if you can't find something in particular, you can always check another store or go online. Uh, specifically, even for me, for this video, I shopped at two Walmarts and both were very different. Tip number three, the online shopping experience. So if you do find an item online, you can always get it shipped to your local store for free, which is great, or you can get free two-day shipping for spending over $35. Also, if something's cheaper online and you find it in store, they will price match in store, which is a great little tip. Thanks for that, Krista. Last, this is my tip along with this. You can check online to see what stores in your area have something in stock. So if you look below, I linked as much as I could find from this haul. If you check online in your area, you can actually go see what's in store and you could go to that store and try it on before you buy it. I'd love to do that. So thank you so much, Krista. You guys go check out her page. I'm really impressed. Tell her I sent you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and just know I love you. Comment below. Let me know if you have any tips on Walmart specifically. I know you do. Let me know. I'll talk to you next time.